Hello, everybody, and welcome to this special episode of Paleo Fridays. And by special, I just mean because of the time of year it is. Of course, we are dealing with many happy and holy days that so many people around the world are celebrating at this time of year. So I just want to start out by wishing you all a happy new year coming into this new time with new beginnings and hopes and aspirations and hopefully your goals and dreams come true with hard work and remember there is always going to be more to learn so today by popular vote on twitter we're going to be discussing the daily life of neanderthals now i want to apologize for not having something to show off or something to have in my hands as I normally would at home. But as you can see, I am in a hotel room because I too am on vacation visiting family for the holidays. Which is possibly something Neanderthals did. Now why do I say that? Well, I say that because Neanderthals, despite what popular media dis it's changing, but despite what popular media disguises Neanderthals as these large, brutish animals that don't have a human tendency of understanding, or that they're these different creatures that don't belong with being called human. But what we've discovered over the last few decades is that Neanderthals were extraordinarily complex individuals, communities, and societies. We have discovered uh, cave paintings. We have discovered structures built in caves. We have discovered landscapes that were, for lack of a better word, terraformed to be more productive for the Neanderthal community to live on for a couple thousands of years. We know that they had tools, various types of tools all over the place, depending on where you were, you would have this tool set or that tool set, all made by Neanderthals. And of course, we know that they even buried their dead with ceremonial intention. We can see this from the caves in Shandahar with the flower burial, and despite the controversy over how this burial occurred, to most anthropologists, it's pretty plain that Neanderthals were not basic animals. They were advanced cognitively, culturally, possibly spiritually, and are really a precursor to what we are going to be seeing with modern humans who come along a few tens of thousands of years or hundreds of thousands of years later, depending on where and when you're looking. So what would the daily life of a Neanderthal look like? Well, just like you and I, it would depend on many factors, where they're living, Neanderthals lived from the very west side of Europe in Gibraltar in Spain, all the way into the almost east, but we kind of see a shift here where they become more Denisovan, uh, and we see that species, or what is soon to be a species, in that area. And what we're talking about is a species of human, and we're going to deem them human because culturally, significantly, they are almost no different than us in the fact that of what they do, but they just do it differently. And their purposes and their reasons for doing things might differ, but what they're doing is the same things. They're making clothes to stay warm. They're cooking food. Now we know from about 70,000 years ago, Neanderthals in Iraq were actually using different ingredients to better flavor their food. They were cooking with ingredients. We know that they were burying their dead, as I mentioned, and we know that, well, we don't know what the cave art means. We probably never will know, but we know it's there, and it dates to the time of the Neanderthals. So we know that these people were thinking, we know that they were processing information in a way that previous hominins hadn't, at least not to this extent, this abstract level. Now, of course, without a time machine, we're never going to know exactly what the daily life of a Neanderthal would look like. And, you know, don't, don't hate me for this, but Clan of the Cave Bear... 
uh, by Gene M. All is actually not, I'd say, the worst adaptation of what we could imagine Neanderthal life would be like. You know, when the books came out, everyone gave her a lot of flack because they said Neanderthals and modern humans could never interbreed. There was never any admixture. There was never anything like that going on. And we now know that's completely false. We know there was admixture. We know modern Homo sapiens had relations with Neanderthals creating a space in our own DNA, despite the fact that Neanderthals have gone extinct, where they live on in about 1-6% to of our DNA worldwide. And that is a serious factor to consider when we're considering how close modern humans are to Neanderthals. Because if we could interbreed, by definition of a species, that means we're the same species. Now, of course, we could get into what is a species, and that could be a whole different episode of Paleo Fridays, because that question changes depending on who you ask and the answers you're going to get if you ask three paleoanthropologists, you're probably going to get 10 answers on what a species is. So maybe we'll discuss that later. But for now, let's group them together to better go with what the idea of a species is. So by that definition, Neanderthals would be Homo sapiens neanderthalensis, and we would be Homo sapiens sapiens. So their daily lives would include waking up, gathering food, eating, preparing for whatever the day's activities are going to be, whether they're being highly nomadic and they're traveling to a new site, or they're hunting, or they're gathering food. It would be the same things we do today. We would be doing jobs, different activities that are assigned to different individuals by the community to best serve the group as a whole. Now, this would mean that there were hunters and there were gatherers. And I want to make a point that, of course, while we think hunters and gatherers are male and female, many cultures across the world today are not that binary. And so for us to assume that Neanderthals had a binary community where males did this and females did that comes completely out of misconceptions about our own societies. So we have nothing to go off of of did females hunt? Did males hunt? They, everyone could have done everything, as we see in most true hunter-gatherer societies. So their daily lives were filled with finding food, staying warm, finding shelter, and keeping their children safe and alive and as healthy as possible. Neanderthals did not live nearly as long as modern humans, whether that is because of who they were as a species, or given to the environments that they lived in because they were so harsh, especially in Europe during those times. We were dealing with ice ages. We were dealing with extremely cold temperatures, climate changes. It was a lot that Neanderthals had to deal with. And it is a large contributing factor, we believe, to their final demise. The interbreeding with modern humans, which would have limited their population as well as the low amount of Neanderthals we believe that ever existed at one time. I don't remember the exact number, but something like we've only ever believed 10,000 Neanderthals have ever lived on the Earth at one time. Don't quote me on that. I could be mistaken. But it's something close to that. And that means a lot. That means there was not much diversity for them to go off of. That means there was a lot of interbreeding, which of course leads to many different downfalls that all combined led to their extinction. We did not kill them in a fight. There was no dramatic battle between humans and Neanderthals that led to us hunting them down and killing them. They died because of their way of living in their climate, it became too difficult, which should show a lot of red flags for us and where we're going in the current climactic changes that are happening. Because if things become too harsh for us and we don't have a way out, we will f see what the Neanderthals faced one day, and that's not going to be something that we're going to enjoy. 
So I hope this little video gave you an idea of what Neanderthals were like. Of course, I kind of rambled off of it and didn't really talk too much about what they did during their daily lives because I really just want you to understand they weren't that different. They did the same things we did. They ate, they lived, they entertained themselves, they played games, they hunted, they, they survived. That's what they did. Neanderthals survived. And they did it well. They did it for nearly 400,000 years. They were a successful species. Just because they went extinct at one point does not mean that they weren't successful. We will go extinct and or evolve into something else at one point, making Homo sapiens sapiens extinct regardless. So it's all a matter of how you look at it. But I think that is a great place for us to leave off for this episode of Paleo Fridays. Please like this video and subscribe and make sure to hit that notify button so you don't miss any further episodes. And I really hope you all have a wonderful and happy holidays and that you enjoyed this video. So have a great vacation. Hopefully you all are vacationing right now. I know I am or will be at least after this video. And I just want everyone to have a joyous new year because that is when we'll be seeing each other next. All right, guys. See you later.